Hi, I'm Juan Pablo Pinto and my name is Cristian Rojas. And we we're both born in Chile, but we met here probably 10 years ago. And I don't live far from here, just three blocks away, so I'm very lucky to be close to the sculpture. Yeah, he can mind it and you know keep it keep it top notch, which is great. So the name is quite fundamental to the artwork, it's called Selfish. So the idea is to invert the food chain. So we used to be on top of the food chain. So imagine we're not on top of the food chain anymore. And this is a critic to you know the depletion of the natural resources, you know, how we explode, you know, the oceans and, and you know in, with fisheries. And what if we were the bait, you know, of something else that is above us? So then, what will be the bait nowadays to attract people? Well, social media, you know? So that's kind of the pun on the name Selfish. And the As idea- a selfie. Mm, so the idea of people, you know, going there, taking their photo, and then, you know, being hooked by the work. It's quite interesting that as soon as we installed, the sculptures start working, because people start stopping in there and taking the selfies, and we were like, good, <laughs> good, yeah. it's working. So, so one of the interesting things of this work is that it's in two parts and the fact that it's a shape that we all know, you know, it's a common object, uh, gives the opportunity for the viewer to complete the shape under the path. So everyone thinks that it's actually hooking the path, that it's actually, you know, piercing the, the air, but it's, it's just a visual trick really. And it's playing with, you know, notions that you have of how things should do. You know, if I have a square, I'm very part of the square, your mind will complete the shape because it's a common shape, but the same happens with this, with this hook. I guess we pay attention to different kind of details and at some point we both tell each other this is not so important, let's focus on this other one or, or, or I use Juan Pablo's experience as well so he's always guiding me as well in that like no this is how you do these things. I said well yes you're completely right and it's true. One of the beautiful things of working in Fall Sculpture by the Sea and installing here is the landscape, you know. So a material that reflects the light, la landscape and, you know, the lights and, you know, the blue of the sky and the sea, the green of the backdrop of the hill, the yellow of the sun, all those colors, they get incorporated in the sculpture. So it sort of makes it belong to the place really easy by, you know, the chromatic scale that it, it, it shifts and, and the palette that takes. And the fact that it's a fish hook by the ocean also creates that beautiful relationship with the landscape and interacting with the path. So it's quite a site-specific work and, and the beauty was to design something that works with this particular place. And yeah. it's a good scale, it's like, it's strong, but it's elegant at the same time. It's thin, you know, it's subtle, so it doesn't disturb too much. And I think that's something very important when you work with landscape, because you want to highlight the landscape, you know, you want to put an accent, you don't want to dominate the landscape because um, the, be the beauty here is on the setting more than in the, the work as well. You know? So yeah, I, mean, I guess welcome everyone to come down to the exhibition and, and, and check the work. And there's so many beautiful sculptures and we met so many incredible artists. And yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful you know, setting, it's a beautiful exhibition. It's open to everyone, you know, kids, adults. So yeah, come down and enjoy.